Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before proceeding further, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pane and watch video completely. If you find some are important, then pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have find any difficulties or problem, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Let's see what the question says. An infinitely long thin conducting wire is parallel to the Z axis and carries a uniform line charge density lambda. It pierces a thin non-conducting spherical shell of radius capital R in such a way that the arc PQ subtends an angle 120 degree at the center O of the spherical shell according to the figure the permittivity of free space is epsilon 0 which of the following statements is true means it is mcq's multiple choice questions the electric flux through the shell is root 3 r lambda epsilon 0 option b the Z components of the electric field is zero at all the points on the surface of the shell. Option C, the electric flux through the shell is root 2 R lambda epsilon zero. And last option D, the electric field is normal to the surface of the shell at all points. This question is asked JE Advanced 2018. First of all, what we have to given and what is the base concept of this question? You have given no long, infinitely non-conducting wire having the charge density lambda and this pierces this spherical shell at the point P and Q making an angle 120 degree. And uh, this question basically based on the Gauss theorem. What is the Gauss theorem? You are well known about that. Gauss theorem used for the find out the number of flux. Number of flux is equal to 1 upon epsilon 0 times of total charge present in it. And this theorem is best to find out the electric field. So therefore, with the help of Gauss theorem, we have to find out the electric field. So now, this is basically two concepts, electric field and Gauss theorem. Here you have given lambda is charge density. Now, let us first find out the length of PQ, okay, you are well known about that, applying the geometry, you can see that it is intersect, bisect this chord, drawn perpendicular, let us consider this point is M, and now it becomes 60 degree, so now this point PM sin 60 degree equal to PM and hypotenuse is R. What is the sine 60 root 3 by 2 and r this is the length pm and as you know that the drawn perpendicular is bisect each other so multiply double then it became pq and what is the pq total length root 3r so here we get the length and charge density lambda equal to total charge present let us suppose q and what is the length Length PQ here root 3 R is total length, then lambda root 3 R is Q. So we have find out total charge. Now, as we know that first option the electric flux through the shell is root 3 R lambda epsilon 0 you know that very well flux equal to total charge present on the body closed body and then epsilon 0 then what is the value of q you can see that this is the q root 3 lambda r epsilon 0 so therefore first option a is correct the electric flux through the shell is root 3 r lambda epsilon 0. Now option second, the
the z component of the electric field is zero at all the points on the surface of the shell yes you know that very well whenever we have to taking any body the electric field calculate electric maximum electric field is the perpendicular not in the there along with the length so therefore here the z component of the electric field is zero at all the points on the surface of the shell so first option and second option is correct now third option the electric flux through the shell is root 2 or lambda epsilon not that is not possible because we have already find out and last option the electric field is normal to the surface of shell at all the points it is also wrong why because we have to talk about here only length not the shell because it is non conducting so therefore last option is also wrong so the correct answer is only a and b i hope so you understand this question quietly thank you thank you for staying till the end of the video and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel that can get the link for the next video thank you take care and bye bye